everybody, Tash the Minion Mature Minecraft in Lady here, back with another episode of my Let's Play Minecraft Bedrock series, Mintopia. So guys, um, I was going to do some building today, but I've changed my mind. I am back all the way out of here, remember this place? This goes to the nether fortress that I found. Um, and uh, I'm being a sucker for punishment because I want a beacon and I do spend half my episodes going I'm going to do this because I want uh, it's obviously a girl thing no seriously I, I, I do need a beacon so um, so unlike my last trip to the nether I am armoured up to the eyeballs I've made a looting or breaking smite and mending sword, uh, my wither and die sword, hopefully. Um, I've not brought my normal sword because that's got fire aspect on. Um, so I am going to go through this portal and then I'm going to dive down into the fortress because I know how to get there quick and hopefully not get blown up by a ghast. And um, Let's see if this goes any better than the whole blaze rod issues that we had. So, wish me luck guys. I need three wither skulls and you could just stay away from me completely. Um, let's see how this goes. Oh, I'm sweating already. Right, where was the fortress? It's down here, so I am going to go this away now we can hear the rattle of bones yeah got you got you but you're not you're not with us what with us okay 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 Here. There's places over there. Right. Okay. Uh, oh, there, there's three up there, but they're all by a place for now. Oh no. Oh no. Right, guys, give me a chance to pause. Uh, the sun. Oh no. Oh look. 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 God. Die. 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 I got him before he withered me. Did I get a skull? No. Uh, the sun is shining through my study and I can barely see the TV. Oh my God. Ah! Oh, he got me. Oh. Right, let's stay here. Eat. Uh, I need to shut my blind. No. Right, this is me desperately moving really, really quick. Hey, that's better. <laughs> right. So, no skull yet. Is that I can hear the rattle of those bones. I'm going to leave that way for a minute to see if I can stay undercover because I'm just. Now, do I try and get black? No, no, let's, let's not push my luck. Uh, let's go this way. Uh, 
because I don't think I can cope with blazes, withers and um, guests. Here he comes. Got you first, got you first. No, no skull. No. Ooh, that's a dead end that way. No, that's a dead end. Oh dear. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, blaze up there as well. Um. Hmm. All right, let's go this way. Let's be brave. Please don't fire at me. Nope. And I think he's uh, getting ready to fire. Oh, uh, uh, I'm out of here. So nothing there. Please don't bomb me and kill me. Right. There's nothing behind me, but there is one up there. Come, come here, please. Come, see me, see me, see me. Oh, he got me. I can't eat. Uh, I've not had school yet. I think the chances is like one in 20 or something horrible like that. There's another one. Oh, he's going the other way. No, I'm here, come here. There's like loads of places up there. Ah! Oh. Ow! Well, I didn't do very well at putting that out, did I? Ah! Is it? Oh no, <laughs> no, no. I always end up moving stuff when I panic. <sighs> oh Lord. I wasted that because I was hitting him with a bow instead of a sword. Rubbish, rubbish. Hey. 
me just get my heart back up. No, Mr. Pigman, not you. Oh, why do I? Been that way. I've been this way. So I'm going to have to go out in the open. That is a fall off point, so I don't want to go that way. Uh, that is one up there. So I've had quite a few skellies and not one of them has dropped a skull, annoyingly. So are they going to keep spawning in here? looking for skellies, the black ones. Oh, oh that's a dead end. Yeah. Okay guys, so I think I'm going to be here quite a while. 
I might go back out and then come back in and give them a chance to respawn and uh, I'll, I'll keep trying to get these elusive skulls. Okay guys, I'm back. Oh my god, that was such a trauma. Um, yeah, so the wither skeletons were basically not dropping. Not dropping. Four hours. Four hours I spent in there just trying to get three skulls. I've got three skulls in four hours. Uh, yeah, nightmare. So... The reason for the uh, skulls is because I want to get a beacon uh, and to do that I need to defeat the wither but I am absolutely in no way shape or form doing it the way I did it before uh, which was in a mine which turned out to be a lot of gravel and we ended up with a hole the size of Texas so yeah no definitely no um, so I am going to do a with a killer in one of the using one of the end portals and city portals. Um, in my last world, I did have one that was kind of a with a farm. It, it wasn't very good. I ended up with chickens all over the end, but hey. Um, so I've asked Elsoft to come with me. Um, because if it all goes absolutely peak tongue. I don't want to be stuck there with a wither flying around um, creating chaos, carnage and everything else. So we're going to get everything together, um, get, or oh, I'll get everything together, get Delsoft and we will see you at the end portal. So here we are guys, this is the... Um, end portal that we're going to use um, it's in quite a good location because it's not really near the edge of the island so hopefully this will suffice for our wither killer um, as I said I've brought Delsoft along hello Delsoft hello so um, we're gonna try and get this done now we, we've seen a few different ways of these being built um the one that we're going to follow <laughs> you're going to laugh because it's going to be a oh a silent whisperer one um no we did look at the six, skippy gaming six one that was built under the the main on the main island um but then the star goes back to spawn point and stuff like that and it was like oh that's miles away um so, so we've decided to to go for the the more old fashioned version of uh, of building it on a unused gate because we don't use this one. So well, we're doing a mixture of both. Are we now? Yes, we're taking the the box of Skippy Six built uh, lined with water. And we're going to put it around the portal so when the wither is spawned it doesn't make a lot of damage okay that's news to me delsoft did you bring buckets of water yep oh well i'll let you off then i was just gonna leave it open to have a big moan then i have got two stacks of end stone with me as well well we've got to build up past that portal right because the skippy one right it was nine think, high well was it nine so we've got to go nine higher yeah than that portal so it's going to be a big big build yeah 80 so that's going to be like okay so this is the center point here what i'm All stood right. on so that torch there is the centre point. So let's take that out and put the torch in the bottom of it. Right. And okay. then we're gonna have to build the box around it. That's why I'm I'm digging out to try and 
get a load of get a load and then we'll do the box around it up not a nine past it yeah uh, and I think the the box with the water it was the water that was stopping the with the skeletons skulls causing damage it just hit the water and that was it like a like um creeper in water it doesn't do any damage when it blows up okay so I quite fancied that idea and the way we're going to get in and out is we're going to put two signs on the inside of the wall so the water goes over the signs so we can get in and out the box without having to fight the water right so basically you're making up this design yep that's how minecraft works <laughs> okay viewers if i sound a little confused it's because um i am I have I've not been let into this stunning plan, so I'm as um surprised as you are. He's saying there then here. Then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take out every one bar that top one. And it's this, not that one. Right, he says we've got to put the pod sole here. Right, so the pod sole is one below the horizontal, yeah, put the mush, oh, where's the mushroom? Okay, where did the mushroom go? Yeah. Thank you. Right. So I've got the pots on there. Get rid of that. Come here. Let's jump, do it up here. Right. Put the mushroom on. Bone meal it. One, two, three. Does that work the first time? Looks like it. So it's gone through the portal, look. Yeah, yeah. So is that it? Is it blown out the portal? Yeah. Gosh, that's a lot, a lot less trauma. Well, <laughs> say it's a lot less trauma. It took us 45 minutes <laughs> to, we didn't. to suss out where to put it. Yeah. So there we are, guys. Um, I could cut out everything and go, it was really professional and we just did this first time round, but actually we didn't. <laughs> it stuck forever. So, but usually, um, or the, the traditional way is to use the wither to blow out the portal. Um, the mushroom, a lot less traumatic, I would say. So, we will crack on with building the, um, the wall that Dale's got in his head and uh, we'll come back to you when that's done. Okay guys, I hope you can see this through our stupid pumpkin heads. Um, but we've built, well, we have built to um, Dalesoft's specification, this uh, frame, kill chamber, outside wall. I don't know what we're going to call it, but um, yeah, so Dalesoft. <laughs> right. From what I've seen is that that the withers, the wither, what the bombs they shoot at, you know, the heads that blow mm -hmm. up. Yep. They water has the same effect on them as creep as creepers in water. If a creeper blows up in water, it doesn't do anybody any damage. So what we're going to do is we're going to 
put water sources all along this wall so it flows down into the center yeah so when the wither when we spawn the wither in there when it starts firing out it's just going to hit the water and just blow up on the water so this wall should stay largely stay intact and that's okay, the whole okay. point of it it's to stop all those wither skulls flying around the universe when we're flying suddenly we see one and then hit it so, so this is your stunning plan yeah. <laughs> or cunning plan yeah as baldrick would say okay so what we need to do now is we need to figure out where east is Okay. Get, get the platform set up so we know where we're going to be putting the withers. Yeah, this okay. is for the infinite water source, so we can. Uh, uh, fill, I'm looking fill. for the stairs down. It's there. Oh, I found them. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's because you can't see anything in this pumpkin head. I'll make it. I'll make it bigger. What the pumpkin head? <laughs> now the stairs. I know. Okay. Right. I have planted the sunflower, which right. always faces east. So, okay. So the back end of here, where your stairs are, yeah. is west. Is it? Yes. How fortunate. How fortunate. Why is it fortunate? <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. Right, I'm just making these Tash Dominion proof. Hey, I've been building that whole wall. Honestly, guys, I'm not half as bad as I used to be. So the, the water forms like a, a circle all the way down, like yeah. a curtain, doesn't it? Oh, that got rid of the enderman in the bottom. <laughs> so you're just going to do that all the way around the outside edge? Yeah. Okay. You said you were putting signs at the bottom. Have you done that to yeah. stop it coming out? Yeah. If you look in the doorway. The doorway? I've got a fire in the doorway. Halfway down. Halfway down. Halfway down. There's a door. Oh, Wait. of course, it doesn't go to the bottom, does it? So, guys, you probably didn't see this, but we've built it um, so that it's at the kind of right height of the end portal. Yeah, here's the halfway down door. So these are the signs so that when Delsoft, I'm just going to stand in here for a moment, when he pours it down here and all the water starts coming out this way, that it doesn't actually come out of this doorway. So technically what you, what's supposed to be able to happen is that you stand behind this curtain of water and then just wait until the wither goes <coughs> technically I might not be doing that <laughs> so yeah and then if your bubbles start going you're gonna start drowning you go out take a breath and come back in and hope the wither doesn't see you but uh, this is supposed to reduce the amount of damage You know what the issue is here, Dale Soft? What? Because we're wearing pumpkin heads and not respiration helmets. Yes, but Enderman will not spawn in there. There, no. Because of the water. So it might be okay. Yeah, I've got my helmet on me. I don't know. I'm, I'm very worried about this. Very worried. So as you can see guys, the signs aren't, uh, have stopped the water coming out and if we go through the water, the little water curtain. So we've got this kind of curtain of water all the way around. And uh, Delsoft's just finishing off the last bit. 
So this is um, this is your design, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's a amalgamation of many people, so <laughs> it's unique, so it's mine. Uh, okay, maybe. Do you, have you heard of the phrase "pride becomes becomes before a fall"? Because uh, maybe we should wait until we've tested it first. <laughs> yeah. I have every confidence in everything that I do. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Okay. We're not far away now, are we? Nope. Who? Is I'm getting a bit it? nervous. Oh, I'm getting a bit nervous lot. now. That's the lot. That's the lot. Swimming in the weather always makes me nervous. It can always end up in such complete carnage. All right, so you think that's it? Well, that's the theory. And which curtain of water are we supposed to stand behind? Any. This one? All right. I don't know whether just to dub everything in the chest because I'm pretty much guaranteed to die. I might just definitely leave my lighter in there. Okay, guys, this is where it goes horribly, horribly wrong. And Dale Soft and I go to our death. I'm going to let you do it so that we can watch. All right, well, I'm going to fetch my helmet. Hang on. Yeah, because got respiration on the helmet, so... We'll take that again in a minute, guys. Have you overkilled the um, end blocks on the portal? I'm making sure. <laughs> okay. Right. Right, you ready? Nope. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Here we go. There's okay. one. There's two. There's three. And we're off. Right. He's gone in there alright, okay. So we kind of just stand here now, don't we? Yeah. There's the explosion. Well, he's dying. Not very quickly. Yeah, but he's still dying. Ow! You're not in the corner, are you? Get in the corner. Can you see this, folks? Right? He's made me stand in that curtain of water and he's standing in the doorway. Come on. Ah! Oh, hurry up and die. I want my star. Here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. One big boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oops. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Yeah. They're stuck. Ha. I got the star. I got the star. Oh, get on the block.
Hello, boys. Did you drop anything good? Did you drop anything good? Oh, I got one skull. <laughs> <laughs> That was amazing. Alrighty guys, it's time to craft these up. One, two beacons, lovely beacons. So yeah, that went way better than my uh, search for wither skulls. Um, it's not the prettiest with a farm in the world, <clears throat> excuse me, but it's, um, it did the job and that water trick really helped and uh, it was quite minimal damage. So I want one of the beacons to come out here, which is the absolute center of this hexagon. So I'm going to get rid of Le Birch which has been sort of my uh, flying marker. And then I'm going to put the beacon under the ground. One more. Make sure I'm on this block. There uh, yeah, so I'm gonna put the beacon uh, under the ground so that it's, uh, as I say, kind of the central point of coming out of the centre of the base. Oh, scaffolding so useful! Okay, so I'm going to dig down and make a hole for the beacon. So I will be back in a moment. Alrighty guys, so here we have one hole and one base set up for the beacon. So as I said, I want it to come out in the absolute centre uh, where we've got this one birch block left. So we can take that out. And I will put my beacon down. Oh, I need some ingots as well okay so 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 here we go my first beacon of the season yeah yeah right we'll set this up if i can remember how to do it so uh, i don't know what resistance is so I'm going to go for strength because, <laughs> as you know, my base is not safe at the moment. Um, and so hopefully that'll give me a bit more fighting power. <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing too. And um, regen. So um, when I'm fighting and not doing it successfully, uh, hopefully I'll re replenish her a bit quicker. So I'm just going to set those in right oh bubbles right now i think oh god I've got the pink as well oh really random big bubbles so i am going to see if i can turn these off well guys after a little bit of research it turns out you cannot turn off Particles uh, on the Xbox or Xbox One because <laughs> they are they are quite annoying, um, especially when you start building stuff and they're floated up in front of your face like that. So yeah. Oh well. Oh well. And there we have. Our beacon. So <clears throat> as the floor starts going in, 
I will put a piece of coloured glass over here. I haven't decided what colour yet. Um, I don't think it'll stay white. But at this moment in time, we now have the centre of our face finally highlighted up. So on that note, guys, it's about time for the end of the episode. Um, I'm really annoyed that can't turn off particles. So I'll go and do some more research on that. Oops, she says throwing things away. So, oh, look at me, I'm all bubbly. <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, we've had some bad times. Uh, uh, four hours in the nether. Uh, we had some good times. Um, two beacons. Yay! So, and we've got the centre of our base finally done. So, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit the like button while you're there. Please subscribe. Um, you can catch me on Twitter at Tash the Minion. Um, and if you would like to support me further, I do have a Patreon account set up as a tip jar. Um, I've got no particular benefits, um, but I do post my videos on there uh, about five days before they appear on YouTube. So, oh, yes, that was exciting. So, on that note, guys, I will say ta-ta for now.